Hello and welcome. I'm Mark, this is Riffle Shuffle and Roll, and today we are kicking off Rook Month. That's right, all month long, we are taking a deep dive into the world of the 57 card Rook deck. Now, you might already know of Rook as a commercial game that you can buy in the store, but what you might not know is that it's actually just another system of cards, a way to play a bunch of different games. And we're gonna be featuring those games here on the channel all month long. Today we are starting with Kentucky Discard. Now, this is actually the rules published in the commercial game of Rook. So if you were to go into Walmart or your local store and pick up Rook for about five bucks, this is the rule set that would be included with the game. However, amongst the community that uses these cards for more than just the commercial Rook game, this game is actually known as Kentucky Discard or Tournament Rook. With all that in mind, let's dive in. Kentucky Discard is a card game for four players played in partnerships. It is in the trick family and its key features and mechanisms include trick taking, a trump color, bidding, and count cards. The round objective for the bid winner is to capture enough count cards to meet or exceed their bid. And they're going to do that as a team. The round objective for the opposite team is to capture as many count cards as possible. The objective for the game is to be the first team to reach 300 points or more. To play Kentucky Discard, you will need a 57 card rook deck and a way to keep score. Remove the ones, twos, threes, and fours from the deck. Include the rook card to make a 41 card deck. Kentucky Discard is a partnership game. Partners should sit across from each other. The dealer begins by dealing one card to each player at the table and then dealing one card to the nest. This continues for the first five cards. After the five card nest has been dealt, the rest of the cards are dealt evenly to each player. This gives each player a nine card hand. After setup is complete, players will go through a bidding round. Players bid on how many points they think they can capture during the round. Points are earned by capturing count cards. Fives, tens, fourteens, and the bird card are all count cards. The point value is placed up in the corner of the card. So fives are worth five points, tens and fourteens are worth ten points, and the bird card is worth twenty points. So during the bidding phase, players bid based on how many points they think their team can capture if they get to determine the trump color for the round. There's a total of 120 points possible during each round. The highest bidder gets to determine the trump color and they get to pick up the nest and exchange cards with it. The player to the left of the dealer gets to bid first. They may either bid a minimum of 70 or they can pass. Bidding continues around the table and each bid must increase by at least five points and the increase must be in five point increments. So if the beginning bid is 70, the next bid would need to be 75 or 80 or 90. The bids need to be divisible by five. Bidding continues around the table until all but one player has passed. Once a player passes, they cannot jump back into the bid. The winner of the bid picks up the nest and adds it to their hand. They can then choose any five cards from their hand to remove and place back down as the nest. Then that player determines the trump color for the round. For this example, we're playing that the player on the left side of the screen won the bid, they exchanged cards from the nest, and they have determined green to be the trump color for the round. The nest will come into play later, so simply place it to the side face down. 
No one else is allowed to see what cards are in the nest. The player left of the dealer leads the first trick. For this example, the player at the bottom of the screen dealt first, so the player to their left leads. That just happened to be the same player that won the bid. It does not always work out that way. The player who leads the trick can play any card from their hand. The bird card, or the rook card, whichever you prefer, is always considered trump. So for this round, it is considered the highest green card. If the player chose to lead the rook card to the trick, all the other players would have to follow suit. They would need to play a green card if they have one. If a player cannot follow suit, they can play any card they wish. So keeping in mind that the rook card is always trump, if another player leads the trump color and the rook card is the only card that player has in the trump suit, they must follow suit by playing that card. However, if a non-trump color is led and the player has the rook card, they do not have to match the color that was led. The rook card can be played at any time. The only time it is required to be played is if trump is led and the rook card is the only trump card that player has. So the player leads the trick with the rook. This counts as a green card. The next player has the green nine, so they must play it to the trick. The next player chooses to throw the green five. This is a count card. The rook guarantees to take the trick, so that player's partner just got their team five points. And this player must choose between playing a, another point card or the 11. So they choose to throw out the 11. The highest card in the color that was led or the highest trump card takes the trick. For this example, the rook takes the trick. The player that takes the trick collects it and places it face down. The player that captures the trick leads next. Play like this continues until all of the tricks have been played. The player that takes the final trick also collects the nest. They will earn points for any count cards that are in the nest. Points are earned as a team. Each player should look at the tricks they captured and separate out any count cards. Fives are worth five points, tens are 10, 14s are 10, and the rook is worth 20. If a team fails to meet their bid, they deduct the value of their bid from their score. So if the winning bidder had bid 85 points, they would deduct 85 points from their score. They do not earn any points for the cards they captured. After points have been tallied up for the round, collect the cards, deal passes to the player that sits left of the previous dealer, shuffle them up, and begin a new round. The first team to reach 300 points or more wins the game. And that's how you play Kentucky Discard. Now I've got links down below in the description for my Board Game Geek page, my Reddit page, the traditional card game Discord channel, and of course, for GameRules.com. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on playing.